Magic Monday, a sideshow of the Kevin Long Show, is brought to you by Southgate Media Group. You can find us at southgatemediagroup.com. Magic Monday is brought to you by Podlife, a book from southgatemediagroup.com. There will be a link in the show notes at some time in the near future. There is also another sponsor, but I can't remember it at the time, so I will have to do another introduction after I get that. All right, it's that time of the week again. Time for Magic Monday, and I'm your host, Kevin Long. Today, if you've watched the YouTube videos, then you'll know what I'm talking about. If you haven't watched the YouTube videos, why are you not watching the videos? Go to YouTube, type in The Kevin Long Show, and check out the videos. Or you can listen to the podcast version on YouTube by typing on Southgate Media Group and then clicking on The Kevin Long Show. Anyway, The Decanter of Endless Water. And I wanted to use this item or look up this item because a kid at one of my convention tables was like, I'm going to use this thing to save the day because it does automatic 30 points damage. And I should have looked it up, but I didn't really care because whatever. But it would have changed how I handled some other things. And they would have, the adventure would have gone longer. But, and the thing that drove me nuts is they looked up this item at the table and are like, oh yeah, it does uh, automatic 30 points of damage. But it doesn't. So, on page 260, we'll say 263 of the player's hang, or the DMG. Can't see that small letter right now. My eyes are giving out for the night. Anyway, about 260 to 265 of the Dungeon Master Guide, you got the Decanter of Endless Water. It's a wondrous item. It's uncommon. It brings me to another point. The Adventurer, Flames and Ashes, is a Tier 1 Adventurer, so 1 to 4, and we're giving away uncommon items as rewards. Whatever. Okay, this stopped flask. Sloshes when shaken as if it contains water. The decanter weighs two pounds. You can use an action to remove the stopper and speak one of three command words, whereupon an amount of fresh water or salt water, your choice, pours out of the flask. The water stops pouring at the start of your next turn. Choose the following options. A stream produces one gallon of water. A fountain produces 5 gallons, and a gusher produces 30 gallons of water that gushes forth in a geyser 30 feet long, 1 feet wide. As a bonus action, while holding the decanter, you can aim the geyser at a creature you can see within 30 feet of you. The target must succeed on a DC 13 strength saving throw or take 1d4 bludgeoning damage and fall prone. Instead of a creature, you can target an object that isn't being worn or carried and that weighs no more than 200 pounds. The object is either knocked over or pushed up to 215 feet away. So there you go. The decanter of endless water. I don't know what we're going to do for next week's episode, but we'll find something. So for me, myself, and I, mahalo, and have a great day.